Good afternoon, my name is Jara and I'll be your student nurse today. And today I have a patient here that I'll be assessing her mental health um, status using the SLUMS examination, which is the St. Louis University Mental State Examination. In this assessment, I'll be able to determine any mild cognitive disorder or presence of dementia from the patient. So um, I will be strategizing this using her level of education and there's a corresponding score to it um, and I will be asking her some series of questions. First, I would like to introduce myself to the patient. Hi, my name is Jara and I'll be your student nurse today. So uh, may I just verify your name? Jazzy Borzon. And what is your age? 20. 20? All right. Um, what is the highest level of um, education you have? Associate's degree. All right. Thank you. Um, so I will be asking you some questions, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I just want you to be as comfortable as possible. And um, just please let me know if you um, have any questions, okay? All right. So what day of the week it is? Monday. Thank you. What is the year? 2021. What state are we in? California. Right. Please remember the five objects. I will ask you what they are later, okay? So, apple, pen, tie, house, car. Please repeat. Apple, pen, tie, house, and car. Thank you. You have $100 and you go to the store and buy a dozen of apples for $3 and a tricycle for $20. How much did you spend? 23 Thank you. And how much do you have left? Seventy-seven. All right. Please name as many animals as you can in one minute. So I will be timing you for this one. All right, you can start now. Crab, lobster, shrimp, craw, um, orca, shark, fish, turtle, whale, Dog, cat, birds, rabbit, frog, um, lizard, birds, uh, flamingo, grasshopper, um, parrot, pig, chicken, cow, gorilla, monkey, lion, puma, cougar, tiger, um, Cheetah. All right, it's one minute. Okay. Thank you. Um, what were the five objects I asked you to remember? Apple, pen, tie, house, car. Thank you. I am go going to give you a series of numbers and I would like you to give them to me backwards. Okay? For example, if I say 42, you say 24, okay? So, um, first number is 87. 78. 649. 946. 8537. 7358. Thank you. So here, this is a clock phase, so please put the hour markers and the time at 10 minutes. And the time at 10 minutes to 11 o'clock, okay? So this is a clock phase. You want to put a, hour markers and the time at 10 minutes to 11 o'clock, okay?
Alright, so I have here, place an X on the triangle. Thank you. Which of the above figures is the largest? Does that include the circle? No. No? Uh, it's going to be the square. Thank you. Alright. Um... So I am going to tell you a story, okay? And I want you to listen carefully because afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Okay. All right? So, Jill was a very successful stockbroker. Mm -hmm. She made a lot of money on the stock market. She then met Jack, a devastatingly handsome man. She married him and had three children. They live in Chicago she then stopped work and stayed at home to bring up her children. When they were teenagers, she went back to work. She and Jack lived happily ever after. What was the female's name? Jill. When did she go back to work? What work did she do? Stockbroker. What state did she live Chicago. in? Chicago. All right. All right. That will be it for today. Thank you so much for all your answers. Mm -hmm. And I'll be evaluating this with the doctor. And uh, we will um, let you come back for another, um, for another visit. That way we could discuss to you these results, okay? Okay. Thank you and have a great day.